Greetings the internet, this is Nanark, and welcome back to my tutorial series on making a platformer in Construct 2. So today we're going to be going over tile sets um, and uh, how much fun and exciting they can be. You can hear it in my voice. No, really, tile sets are actually really cool. So let's make some and uh, yeah. So let's close some of these object types and actually close this because you don't know that exists yet. Let's right click. We're going to create a new subfolder. We'll call it tile set. Ti what? Tile sets. And let's create a new object inside this folder. And we're going over to here to general, not nine patch, not tiled background, but tile map. Um, and double click on that. And then you can click anywhere. Uh, and it will, as you can see, ignore that for a second. As you can see, it covers our whole layout. So you don't have to set that up in any way. Um, and uh, yeah. So what you'll, the first thing you'll notice is that you can't actually do anything with this. Um, if you double click it, open up this file and it has a couple tiles in there already set up, which we're not going to use. Um, and uh, yeah, it doesn't really seem to do anything. So in order to make this actually do something, you're going to go up to the view tab up here at the top and there is a tile map bar. Select that and a little tile map window will come up here and you'll, you can see that you can grab a tile and you can place it on if you use this pencil tool, you can grab a tile, you can place it on the map, you can place whatever you want, and you can do cool stuff. Now, uh, the problem is, and actually, before I do this, I have noticed that our tile map is on the wrong layer, it's on the HUD layer. So just select it, and we'll put it on the main layer for right now. We're going to be using a couple layers for this tutorial, so get used to it. Um, as you can see, when we press play right now, these tiles will be on our map. Um, but they don't do anything. You can walk right through them and uh, nothing nothing happens. This is because it doesn't have any behavior set up for it. It's just images on the screen. Um, now you can do a couple things. So uh, if you go up to this eraser tool, you can erase things um, and then click on the pen tool and you can draw things again. You'll notice that if you go to click on your tile set and go to behaviors and then add a new behavior and if you add the solid behavior to your tile set, your tiles will act like solid objects and you can even wall write on them like you can do on the other walls if I could play video games okay there you, as you can see I, I wall wall roded wall rid on the side of this tile now um, the way we're going to be setting up is not using this method um, because it can get complicated like let's say you want to have a wall right there but you want to be able to walk through it as you can see you can't because it's solid which is kind of annoying. So we're going to be setting this up on a couple different layers. So let's control Z all of this stuff out of the way if you did any of this. If you didn't, that's better. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into making everything good. So we're not actually going to be using this tile set. We're going to be using a tile set that I made called Castle Zone. It's going to be on my itch page. There will be a link in the description. You can download it. And when you download it, there will be a file. You can unzip it and it'll be called Tile Set. Um, inside of here there's some things. There's this PNG here for no reason. There's a set where you can see what all the numbers are in relation to. There's a pixel edit file. If you use pixel edit you can use that. Um, there's an overworld kind of example. There's some tiles all individually marked but we don't have to do that. We're just going to focus on this tile set folder and there's going to be uh, castle zone 1x which is uh, 1 to 1 pixel size. Um, and that's what we're going to be using because that's how our layout is set up. So um, after you download that, you can go over here to open, and we're going to go, oh, sorry, no, you don't want to do that. Double click on your tile map, press open, excuse me, and there will be Castle Zone Tiles 1x in your tile set and then tile set folder. Click that, you'll see that all the tiles show up real nice, and press X. Now, um, if you have different size tiles, you're going to want to go over here to the properties tab and the tile width and the tile height are going to be um, where your tile, how big your tiles are. So if it was 64 by 64, um, you can see that you're, oh, it hasn't figured that out yet. As you can see, it's choosing a lot larger of a tile than uh, what we actually have. So we have 32 by 32 size tiles. And as you can see, that is one tile to one. Um, if you have spaces in between your tiles or if there's a, um, if there is a gap between the top left and the top left of the beginning of your tiles, that's where these offsets would go. The spacing is the tiles, the space in between the tiles, etc. So 
uh, you can play around with that a little bit if your tile sets are different sizes. Um, so the way we're going to set this up actually, um, this is not necessarily the best or only way to do this, but this is uh, the way that I feel is most uh, um, fluid and, uh, and uh, I, I think that it just works. Let's create a new layer and it's going to be called layer zero. Let's call it tiles. And let's put this under our HUD for right now. We don't want it to be on our HUD. Um, and uh, let's make our uh, initial, or sorry, our transparent to yes. Now that's going to make sure that um, if you have some tiles, what our background color that we're going to set is going to be visible. Um, so let's create another layer, and we're going to call this collisions. Co is that how you spell collisions? Collisions. Um, and then let's put this under our tiles menu for right now. Um, so let's actually um, do something real quick. If you have this tile still stuck on your mouse, if you go up to the tile map window and click outside of something, you'll be able to get back to here again. Um, we're going to want to move our collision uh, objects to another layer. So if you lock our tiles and select all our collision, oh, our co tiles are actually on our collision. We want this layer to be tiles. And actually, let's just lock that real quick so we can just select our collision things and select all of them. And we're going to click on the layer up here and change it to collisions. Um, now, if you have uh, our platforms over here, you see, um, you'll be able to, if you have the collisions layer selected and unlocked, you can drop your new collision boxes on top of that layer. Um, but we'll deal with that in a second. Let's actually just hide our collisions and our main and let's go straight to our tiles and let's just make a level really quick. Uh, so there's some cool things that you can do with tiles. So for example, uh, you can click one and I don't have our tile map selected for some reason because it's, st no, it's still, it's on the right layer. Oh, sorry. We have our tiles locked. There we go. Um, so there's some cool things you can do if you select a tile and then you can draw some more tiles. If you have one, let's say you like this tile, how it, it has the little edge part over here, but you want on the other side. If you go up here, there is a flip horizontally check and you can click on that. You can flip it vertically as well. So you can have an upside down one as well. And then if you turn off this and leave it here, you can do this and then you can select this again and it's going to be upside down. So we'll have that nice thing. Um, you can grab one of these, as you can see, it's upside down. Grab this guy and put some of these behind him. Do this, we can flip it, put it here. Um, now we want to do some jump through tiles. So let's do that. Let's put some of those there. Um, and this is where if we were having everything uh, as solid, you wouldn't be able to walk underneath these walk through tiles as you normally would. Um, so that's why we're doing that. And then I guess um, I'm, I'm doing this really terribly because I just want to get through it, but you guys can spend a little bit more time. So we'll have something that you can kind of wall jump up to. I think you'd be able to wall jump on there. Um, and uh, then let's just make a final area. Uh, we'll just select, let's make some more grass tiles. And again, you should probably take more time and consideration in doing this. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Let's select just these guys, put that there. Do that here. Um, put a flag on the top, and uh, yeah. So we can even do put some flowers around. Put a flower there. Um, what else do I have? Nothing exciting. A sign and a tree. Put a tree there. Cool. So it doesn't actually matter where these tiles are because they're just going to be graphic graphical, and we're going to be doing the collision separately. Um, hopefully, you can even jump on this. I don't know. I don't know if you can, but we'll find out. Um, and uh, yeah. So, uh, how we're going to do this is we'll actually take our tiles and we're going to go over here to the opacity and change it to 50. And as you can see, it makes our tiles uh, kind of a little bit invisible so we can see behind them. And we're going to turn back on our collisions and we can modify this uh, whatever we want. So remember, if you have a, if you have a, a tile set thing still selected on your guy, you can click off of it. Make sure you hide your tiles uh, layer or sorry, lock your tiles layer so you can don't mess with it. Uh, uh oh, what is? How did? Where did this go? I hope that went there. Okay, and now we can just kind of shape our collisions. What we already have. So remember, these big red ones are just regular square collision boxes. This blue one, I don't know what it does, but I'm gonna get rid of it. 
So we'll just put that there. Uh, we want these tiles over here to be jump through. So remember our yellows are jump through. So let's just stretch that over here. We can put this guy around here and up like this and uh, put this guy here, drop it down, grab this guy over here, put it over here. And then remember you can hold down control and drag and you can drag an, a new copy of this. So let's put this here, stretch this out and let's take some jump through tiles from over here, control C, control V, put it right on top of our castle and that is going to be our level. Um, now there's a couple problems with it right now. Um, so uh, if you turn back on main, you'll see that <laughs> nothing matches up, obviously because we created a new lever, level, not a lever. I mean, maybe we clicked a lever, but so we can put all these things uh, around back on our level however we want. We can put our enemy down here. He won't be affected by these tiles because the because uh, they're jump through. So we can put some more coins. We can put a coin out here if you can get there, um, and we'll put our fancy coin here at the end of the level and here here now remember that tiles work uh, I mean our layers work uh, in layers so our main is actually going to be behind uh, or right now is behind our tile set and so you won't be able to see our little movie man entity right here because he's actually behind the tiles so make sure you move your tiles down to below main and we can put collisions below main as well if we want and you're our problem right here, you'll see, is that all our tiles disappeared. Now this is because our layer in um, transparency is on yes. So on our main one though, it's on no. So it's not seeing, it's just making this white background color over our whole thing. So make sure you make the transparent to yes, so that you can see behind. Go down to your collisions, and we're going to go to uh, visible, or sorry, uh, initial visibility to invisible, and that way you can see through them and see the tiles. Um, and then go down to our tiles, and let's actually create a background color. Let's change the transparency to not, because it's in the back. And we can change our background color to this blue, that's not a blue color, to this blue color. Sure, that's fine. And uh, I think that is pretty much it. So this should work in theory. That coin is below, oh, sorry, our tile, our uh, tiles are still set to 50% opacity. So change that back to 500. And in, there we go, and now our, our screen is much more vibrant. And as you can see, this coin is kind of stuck under here, but uh, the spikes are there in front of that tree for some reason. We don't have death set up because I haven't gotten there yet, and I can't even complete this level. But uh, as you can see, everything worked. Can we, can we make this work? Dear video game developers, don't make games like I do. They're actually terrible. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. There you go, forget that coin. As you can see, we can wall right up here, get onto here, we can go down here, and our, our jump through tiles work fine. Um, that sort of worked, kind of. You can see we can walk through this flower, and we get to our completion, and nothing happens because we haven't set that up yet. But um, I hope that was enough for you guys to kind of get started with tiles. Um, they're pretty powerful, and they take up less resources than if you have individual objects going over your entire screen. Um, so that's good as well. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys learned a lot and uh, I will see you all in the next video.